Yo guys, what is going on? The Halo interview today. Today, oh my god, what's wrong with my grammar? Anyway, today I have a theory video about Destiny. Now today we're going to talk about Necrochasm and Vex Mythic class getting a year 2 upgrade. Um, also the Elder Scyther weapons getting a year 2 upgrade. We're going to talk about Crota's brother, or Orcs' other son. And we're also going to talk about a future ball raid, um, other materials that were cut out from the game, or could still be there, but for future content. Now, um, today we're going to start off with the Vex Mythic class. Now, in early, early, early Destiny, when people started getting their hands on this, it would wreck. I, it would seriously wreck. As soon as someone activated their supers, they would be downed in like five seconds. Um, the thing was extremely OP, way too OP, and uh, when YouTubers decided to do gameplay of it, everybody wanted to get their hands on it, even me, including me. So, um, after like two months of grinding the raid, I finally got it and I blew my pants off. I honestly did. And then, sadly, the next um, two weeks, I think, uh, Bungie nerfed it, and when they nerf weapons, they bring it down pretty good, but they keep it substantial. The Vex, they just killed it. Like, they killed it. Um, and people weren't too happy about this. People were happy that it was nerfed, but they said that it really didn't deserve that much hard of a nerf. So, um, I think about, like, Two months later, or like a month and a half later, they um, uh, buffed it, and it came back. It came back. People were starting to use it again. People would be diversity. And, uh, yeah. So, to make a long story short, when the Taken King came out, legit, by that time, nobody cared about it. Like, honestly, nobody did. And uh, to this day, I don't think much people care about it. But um, what I'm here to talk about today is uh, if it could get um, a year two upgrade. Now, if it did get a year two upgrade, um, I would psych my pants off because I worked so hard for this and I'm sure other people would too. But, um, yeah. So, the Vex, um, obviously drops from Atheon on hard mode. But, uh, when the Taken King came out, only a few year one exotics, a hand picked few, um, got the year two upgrade. And among these, um, Vex was not there. I personally was, I was okay with it. I mean, of course, they're just going to leave some content behind, but I was kind of sad. Um, so I was thinking, uh, should Bungie give this a year two upgrade? Also, um, when I was looking randomly on the Destiny database, I just randomly searched up something about Vex and stuff and exotics and... To my surprise, there was um, some content that I didn't even knew exist. It was called the Vex Raid Rare. Um, as you can see on the video, that's why I speculated it might have had a, it might have a year two upgrade or a year three. So um, yeah, leave your comments below on what you think if it should get one or if it shouldn't, and I'll also leave a link to the Destiny database. So yeah, check it out. And now in this part of the video, I'm going to talk about the Necrochasm. Now the Necrochasm was a year one exotic it was also um it was the exotic that came from proto group now um i'll admit this was really hard to get it was seriously hard to get the crux of proto and the crux of the bit. um so when i got it i was i'm gonna be honest with you i was seriously disappointed i mean when i took it into pvp i expected it to do at least pretty good like better than service regime or anything but People were just taking me down with Fell Winter's Lie and Effort Eat Spear, and it was it was not a pretty sight. So, um, yeah, honestly, when I got it, um, I didn't care much for it, uh, and I just left it in the vault. And it turns out, um, towards the end of year one, when the Taken King was gonna come out, I said, why not? Why not just pop out the year one exotics that I didn't really use? So when I popped it out and I used it in uh, PvP, I was, so to my surprise, it was doing extremely well. Um, it was like when it got the Destiny 2.0 update, but it wasn't, the Taken King wasn't released yet. I started using it there, and I was like, wow, this thing is actually pretty damn good. So, um, yeah. It was, it was a, an okay weapon. I mean, I don't know. May, I'm, but what I'm speculating is, I am pretty sure this thing is going to get a year two upgrade. I am pretty sure of it. Um, the reason being is because the weapon is, originates from the Hive and Crota. I mean... It would make sense to bring it into the Taken King, because the Taken King is all about the Taken and the Hive. I mean, why not bring it back? 
Um, I can't, I can't, I kind of think it's useless why we did all that hard work, you know, for the Vex and for Necrochasm, just for Bungie to leave it behind. Um, it breaks my heart to see it, but, um, you know, I'm not Bungie, I don't work there, so I can make <laughs> the decisions. But, um, yeah, I'm pretty sure, I'm, in my heart, I know for sure this is probably going to get a year two upgrade, or year three at least. I mean, the thing is pretty good now since the auto rifles are got buffed and they're going to get buffed again in the December update. So who knows? Maybe it'll come back in like a few months, or it maybe even if you use it after the December update, it'll be pretty decent. So yeah, leave your comments below again if you want to see um, Necrochasm come into year two. Beginning of the video, I said I was going to mention about Specs, the Necrochasm, uh, Future for Balraid, but I also mentioned something about Crota's brother and Orcs's other son, Nocris. Now, um, I'm pretty sure, I mean, me and a lot of other Destiny players, including my friends, um, we're thinking that this is going to be a future DLC. I mean, it has to, um, other than it's dead. Um, Nocris is Crota's brother, or what we're speculating. There are no <laughs> well, markings that suggest a carving um, tool. As they you were saw, assembled uh, and if you go into the story kind of regicide and you load it up towards before Kirk. the um where you fight Oryx, if you scan those little like three things, you can see Oryx, Crota, and a person named uh Nocris. And I was to my surprise, I was like, wow. Because I was the about to fight Oryx, and then all of a sudden my ghost made this but weird I don't noise. Recognize the symbol. So um yeah, I Nothing just said that I was going to So yeah, the name leave in the comments below <laughs> again. To see, um, if you would like to see future cabal raids and like stuff like this, I'm pretty sure this is gonna be a future DLC. So, yeah. And now, lastly, we're gonna talk about a future cabal raid or fallen raid. Um, now every enemy in the game that These we have faced in Destiny, everything the here darkness, was created um, before Earth was formed. We uh, they have had I a raid. How um, many the Vex have had Oryx a raid. The taken. Hive have had a raid. Technically, the Taken have had a raid. Um, since it's the Taken King, obviously. Um, but the only two that haven't gotten one is the Cabal and the Vault. Now, um, there's a lot of theory videos about how there's gonna be a Cabal raid. I'm pretty sure myself that there's gonna be one in the future. But, um, there's also another thing that I read on YouTube or watched, and it's about this dude saying something about, like, a Vex Void DLC. And it was pretty interesting. I mean, he had a point. Um, so go check it out. Um, I don't honestly remember his channel, but just search up on YouTube Vex Void DLC and you should see some videos about it. And also, um, yeah, so, oh, uh, technically we had like a Fallen kind of raid, but it wasn't a raid at all. It was just, um, the arenas, like, Skolos and everything. That was really unique to me. I think House of Wolves was the most unique one. I think, obviously, the Taken King was the best. But, um, yeah. I'm pretty sure they should add a future Cabal Raid, because there's, like, so many secrets area in, co in Mars that you can just go in and explore with glitches and stuff. But, uh, yeah. Alright. And lastly, we're going to talk about the Elder Cypher weapons. Now, um, of course, when I was doing a Skolos, um, when I very first did it, I got this thing called the Elder Cypher, and I was like, oh my god, this is exotic, it's gonna lead to something good. And I looked up a YouTube video about it, and I realized that there was three exotics you can get, Lord of Wolves, Drugs, Promise, Eve, and Queen Breaker Go. Now, being stupid at the time, I did not really, like, you know, think about it. I just wanted, I just, I was a shocker back then. And, uh, I went straight for Lord of Wolves. And, honestly, I think it did pretty decent, but... To be honest, when I went to Crucible with it, um, probably I only got a kill like every minute and a half. Um, other than that, when I went up against another shotgun, I would just get one hit by Felwinter's Liar or Matador or other shotguns. And I was kind of disappointed. So, um, yeah. Now that I think of it, I got Dreg's Promise then, and I was like, come on, these Elder Cypher weapons suck. And then I saw a video about Queen Breaker's Bow, and I was like, Okay, I know for sure, fusion rifles definitely are the most unique weapon in the game. Because they have Vex Mytho class, the Grisimulin, and Queen Breaker's Bow. Now, uh, what I'm thinking is that I'm asking Bungie personally. 
you should add um, a year two upgrade to them. I mean, because they're just left behind. Like, all the raid stuff, like, um, Crota and VOG and Skolas and everything, those stuff were left in the dust. I mean, they were. There's almost nothing you really... There's, like, nothing important about them anymore in year two. Unless you want to get the year one exotics without spending them on Xur. They honestly have no point. So, yeah, that brings us to the end of the video. Drop a like if you liked the theory. Um, Yeah, and if you want more, just comment down below and drop a like and subscribe. And always, the Halo. Halo. <laughs> Peace out.